It's Tuesday. So today on Toothpaste Tuesday, we are going to have a look at the Spotlight Oral Care Toothpaste for Whitening Teeth. You, some of you will know that I am a big, big fan of their product for rebuilding teeth, for thinning or chipped enamel. So um, I was really excited to give this one a try out over the last couple of weeks and let you know what I thought of it. So it is lawn cutting weather. So if you start to hear somebody cutting their grass, I've had to try and time this um, video whenever we had a little interlude in the grass cutting, but it might start up. So apologies if it does today. So this toothpaste I got on their website, eu.spotlightoralcare.co.uk. I think if I'm wrong, I'll pop the website up here and it was nine pounds. So just as a little bit of a disclaimer before we start, I do whiten my teeth and I last whitened my teeth um, at the start of March. So um, it hasn't actually been really that long since I went through the process of some teeth whitening. But over lockdown, I have been drinking an awful lot of coffee. I had actually given up coffee for about two years and then I started drinking coffee again because I had nothing else to do. So um, I had some coffee staining on my teeth slightly and I was interested to see how this product would um, change and affect that. So I took some before pictures, which I needed to do anyway for my Invisalign. So I took some before pictures and I have an after picture, which I'll show in a little. This product is said to whiten teeth, remove stain and maintain whitening. So if you've used a whitening system like I have, this helps apparently keep your teeth nice and bright as part of that. It's also vegan, ocean safe, and it's 100% recyclable. I have actually already recycled the taller package that this comes in, but it's all cardboard. And if you watched my video on the toothpaste for rebuilding teeth, or you can catch that on my highlight, you'll be able to see the cardboard packaging that this comes in. This toothpaste contains fluoride and it contains hydrogen peroxide, which would be the element that would be used to brighten or whiten. Um, I can't see anywhere what the percentage of hydrogen peroxide is in this product. If you do know what it is, please let me know because I would love to know. Um, but I doubt that we're at a massively strong percentage because usually to get the same results as you would with a whitening gel that needs to be under prescription of a dentist. So we'll give it a little squeeze and see how it looks with my Curaprox 5460 manual toothbrush. So let's see. It is lovely. I really do like these products. I think that they smell really great. They're SLS free as well, so they're not going to be foamy. Let me see. Okay, okay, it is nice. So, I don't know if you can kind of see here. Mm, not really, but there are some little blue particles in this. Um, I'm not sure how abrasive it is because I can't see the RDA for abrasiveness about this product, but anything with particles, I usually say don't use it if you have any sort of tooth wear. So what did I like about it? Well, I will put my before and after in so you can see for yourself the change in the four weeks of me using the product. The top photo is the before, the bottom photo is the afterwards. These photos were taken on the same camera. They were taken in different rooms of my house, but they were taken on the same camera about four weeks apart because I need to take them all ready for my Invisalign. So we can have a little look and see how the product worked in that time. So what else did I like about this product? I liked that it was vegan. I liked that it was ocean safe. That's really important to me. I liked that it was recyclable. It had recyclable packaging. And I liked that it seems to be a good product to use. I had a great experience whenever I used the product for repairing chipped and thinning enamel from the same brand and I did really like this product as well. 
So what didn't I like about this product? I don't even know if I can really say that it's something that I didn't like about it. It's just something that I can't speak on. So I can't tell you that this product whitens your teeth because as I mentioned before, I have previously whitened my teeth and I did that at the beginning of March. So I can't say that I have went from a base point of never whitening my teeth, use this product and I have whiter teeth now. I can though speak on stain prevention because I feel like I did have some coffee staining which has been lifted and I can speak for it on a as a product for maintaining whitening because I did feel like it maintained my whitening after I had previously used my gel and trays that I use on a regular basis anyway. Nine pounds is also a little bit more expensive. I know I've shown you much more expensive toothpastes than this. Oh, that was hard to say. I've seen, I've shown you more expensive ones. I've also shown you a lot cheaper ones. So nine pounds is on the pricier side. Also, it is something that I only know for sure that you can get online. So www. I don't even know if it's www.eu.spotlightoralcare.co.uk and you will be able to have a look and see. I think there's discount codes on the website as well for first time purchases. So I know I sound like I'm being really cautious when I'm talking about this and to a certain extent I am being really cautious when I'm talking about this because this is something that you guys ask me about a lot of the time what my opinion on teeth whitening toothpastes are I've had questions from patients who have staining what should they use and I really believe that the best thing to do if you want to dramatically change the shade of your teeth is to sit tight wait have a consultation with your dentist and have teeth whitening carried out by either your dentist or by your hygiene therapist myself under the prescription of a dentist so it is something that I want you to be cautious about and if you have any more questions you can send me a message Thanks again guys for checking out Toothpaste Tuesday on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel. I love that I get such positive feedback about these and that people say they look forward to them every week. But there's not much to look forward to in lockdown so I'll not take it to um, heart too much. And we are going to talk a little bit more about teeth whitening because I do get so many questions on this about teeth whitening at home, teeth whitening um in practice and what you can do so i will make a little video probably now about this and i think it'll go up on thursday along with a blog post so if you do have any questions message me or you can hang tight till thursday and see what we have to say on that subject then